Hello students, welcome all to a new session. Today we are going to open up a new topic, comparing quantities. John and Tom got five pieces of cake. John took two pieces and the remaining three were taken by Tom. While comparing their pieces, Tom has more cake than John. It can be expressed as a fraction. Tom took three out of five and John took two out of five. Here we compared the number of cake pieces. This comparison can also be done by using percentages. We know the words percent means per 100 or for every 100. Here, Tom took three out of five. Let's see, how can we convert this into percentage? For that, find the value in percent or per 100. So we have to change the denominator as 100. For that, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator by 20. Because 100 by 5 is 20. When we multiply with 20 by 20, we get 60 by 100, which is equals to 60%. Tom has 60% of the cake. Same way, John took two pieces out of five. Two by five, multiplied by 20, by 20, equals 40 by 100, equals 40%. John has 40% of the cake. There is also another method for finding the percentage, that is, the unitary method. For example, Anu's scores in a test is 18 out of 30. Her percentage is her corresponding score out of 100. Now applying the unitary method. In a 30 marks test, Anu scored 18. Therefore, in a one-mark test, Anu would score 18 divided by 30. Equals 0.6. So, in a 100 marks test, Anu would score 18 divided by 30, multiplied by 100, and that would be the percentage. Therefore, Percentage of marks scored by Anu equals 18 divided by 30 multiplied by 100 equals 0.6 multiplied by 100 equals 60%. In fraction like 2 by 3, 5 by 7, 11 by 17, etc., the denominator is not a factor of 100. So, it is difficult to convert the denominator to 100 by multiplying it with a natural number. In such cases, it is easy to use the unitary method to find the percent. Let's see an example. Convert 5 by 7 into a percentage. First, we convert the given fraction to decimal form and multiply it by 100. 5 divided by 7 multiplied by 100 equals 0 0.71 multiplied by 100 equals 71 percent. Let us do another example. A basket has two types of fruits, 20 apples and five oranges. What is the percentage of apples in the basket? We have number of apples equals 20, number of oranges equals five, total fruits equals 25. Out of 25 fruits, the number of apples equals 20 by 25. So, the percentage of apple is equal to 20 by 25 multiplied by 100 
equals 80%. Thus, the basket has 80% apples. Let's have a quick recap. Today we discussed how to find the percent of numbers using two methods. First one is convert the denominator to 100 and find percent. The second one is unitary method. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Rishi took a science test and got 32 correct and 18 incorrect answers. What was the percent of correct answers? That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting topic.